coming to coming to day late here, and I guess I'd like to uh, start today's show with probably the most uh, the, the most dominant story of uh, the news news over the last couple of days, which is the uh, rather stunning act of protest carried out by U.S. Air Force Service member Aaron Bushnell in front of the Israeli embassy uh, a couple of days ago. Um, yeah, I, I don't know where to begin with this one. Uh, I guess I'd just like to begin by saying, or uh, paraphrasing something our good friend Dan said as, as a result, as it regards the reactions to this uh, act of self sacrifice, which is that really talking about this or really anything relating to Israel these days is that I vastly prefer the uh, reactions of insane right wingers to liberals on this. Because if you read, uh, you know, right wingers, uh, they will say why he did what he did. And basically, they know what they believe in, which is more death for everyone, exterminate the brutes. But I, I found myself uniquely sickened by the uh, liberal commentariat's attempt to metabolize this act of protest, which is basically boils down to um, uh, mental health awareness much and uh, committing suicide is against the rules. I like the people who like, um, yeah, they won't even say what this is about. And they're like, we shouldn't even we shouldn't even allude to this. Because if we get going on this, everyone's going to do it. Yeah. It, yeah. How is that going so far? Yeah. <laughs> what do we have? Like 20, 30 copycat suicides in the last 24 hours? Yeah. That's what I assume based on the rhetoric. <laughs> yeah. And, and they're all totally apolitical. It's, it's like when Jackass came out and everyone started making their own videos. <laughs> they don't like embassies. <laughs> yeah. Someone did it in, in front of Ecuador. Someone did it in front of Guinea-Bissau. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I mean, like, talking about this in terms of, like, we need to raise awareness about suicide prevention or sharing these videos will encourage other people to kill themselves. And it's like, people who are suicidally depressed do not douse themselves with accelerant in front of an embassy and then light themselves on fire. Yeah, like, this is something... a very Yeah, this is a very specific thing that is like, well... Yeah, I guess suicidal in one light is is not something that's done born out of, uh, I don't know, Yeah, the, the, the usual, I mean, if someone who would jump off a bridge or stick a gun in their mouth. That guy believed that shit. Yeah. yeah. Say no, whatever you want, words, whatever. You can pull yeah. up his medical records, but he believed that shit. Yeah, his last words were free Palestine as his body was engulfed in flames, which is like, to me, like, one of the most stunning things you could, like, I mean, the, I mean, I mean I'm, I, it leaves me speechless, and I guess it just, like, it sickens me to hear like I said, like uh, so, so many members of like the liberal media just talk about, well, anyone who sets himself on fire is certainly not mentally well. And like maybe even if that's true to a certain degree, what does it say about the mental health of people who like can live with the shame and cowardice of just seeing what their country is doing every day and do nothing about it? Or even worse, I mean, I'm doing nothing about it, but I'm saying even worse are the people who see it every day and then find a way to pretend like it's something else. And like, I think that's what like the problem is that like they cannot countenance an act of protest such as this or self sacrifice without you know finding a way to, I don't know, like to to shame the person who did it because like his act shames them. Yeah, it's very similar to John Brown. It's the yeah. same kind of thing. <laughs> I mean, he was a bit loony too. He was a little crazy. He, he was, was kind a of a weird guy. <laughs> yeah. Usually, people who have like, extremely strong moral principles, they don't have smooth lives because you end up having arguments with everybody and getting fired from all your jobs and shit like john brown did and that's yeah. you know that's a choice that every individual has to make whether you're willing to fuck over your life and and risk your your sanity and your your financial security but i don't know some people are going to do it and shout out to them yeah with this specifically i mean if you just felt like nothing about this or you like you know, you just straight up like don't agree with them, right? It would be so easy to just like either not talk about it or say like, oh, he sacrificed himself for a stupid reason, right? But you would only bring up like these very weird meandering points about like mental health and whatever else or the uh, this doesn't even affect you if you didn't feel like some sort of culpability. Yeah, at all yeah. If you didn't feel like some innate guilt, if you didn't like see this and think, OK, if he like if he as a, you know, an American, a guy who served in the Air Force, if he felt that he needed to do that, what do I need to do? Yeah, it's a reaction to the majority reaction being, whoa, that's cool. That guy's cool. 
and it is it is biased towards Twitter because journalists are all on Twitter and that's all they talk about. But they're seeing that that's there's so much of that on their timeline, even if you're a guy who, who writes for the Atlantic and it makes them nervous. Yeah. Like if the majority reaction was look at this lunatic, then they would be like, oh, fine. Who cares? Well, yeah. And then like and also just that the uh, the mentally healthy response to uh, watching your government, un- you know, partake in a genocide is to just compartmentalize it in your brain and go, ooh, not a good look. But all, let's all please still vote for Biden. Trump will be worse like that. That's the mentally healthy response to just seeing atrocity every day is just going, is there really anything I can do about it? And uh, I, di- I did really appreciate the people who brought up the fact that suicide is illegal. <laughs> I was really just one of those things yeah. that, like uh, when you learn as a kid, you're like, it, it just doesn't make sense. You're like, OK, so Su- so if suicide is illegal. I think you should arrest the people in the person's life who drew who drove them to it. I don't think you should tell someone not to kill themselves. It's their body. That's my honest opinion. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I, I'm not going to tell you what to do. I mean, that's the, you do it if you want. And I guess like the other like the other astonishing thing about this act of protest was like in the video itself, the um, Secret Service agents or cops who had their guns drawn on him as his body was engulfed in flames on the ground. Like, I mean, doesn't that doesn't that kind of sum it up? They were like, drop the weapon, drop, drop the fire, drop the fire or we'll shoot. And also for for all the, the people in the liberal media who are talking about, you know, mental health awareness or whatever. If this was a Russian soldier who did it to protest the invasion of Ukraine, he would be on the fucking cover of Time magazine. They would have him on T-shirts today. He would be being hailed as like one of the greatest moral heroes of our time. But like, I mean, they can't do that because like they cannot square the circle of the horror that Biden is carrying out and their complicity in it. And like they just they, they need to find a way to ignore or continue to ignore or pretend like this has anything to do with with them. What if it was a Russian woman and she pulled her tits out and she was on fire? <laughs> they would love that. They would go for that so hard. Like if the bottom half of her was on fire and the top half was her tits out. <laughs> that would be the ultimate protest, I think. But bring down Putin. <laughs> I think you're right. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Um, One of the most fun discourses. But yeah, I mean, love hearing about that. It's almost as fun as October 7th. <laughs> just reading Twitter all day, just having your stomach sink further and further down as you go. But yeah, I, I, I don't expect this to inspire a, a raft of uh, copycat, uh, su- you know, suicides because like, you know, like no copying yourself. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Copy. <laughs> talk about something being illegal. Don't fucking copy. <laughs> don't copy anyone. Yeah. You Someone comes su- to school with shoes. You don't get those same shoes. Yeah. If you think suicide is illegal, wait till you start copying. That is the only thing that America has, um, you know, we punish people generationally for. If you see someone that lives in one of the Dakotas, it's because their ancestors copied. (laughs) Yeah. John Lennon, he got he got killed walking out of that for copying. He stole that Chuck (laughs) Berry song and he got he was a phony. He was a goddamn phony. He also stole Chuck Berry's innovations on bathrooms. (laughs) <laughs> he would never pee on somebody <laughs> he would never do that to a woman <laughs> only other stuff unless she was on fire unless she, <laughs> unless she was on fire yeah yeah that would be a cool um, yoko ono art project i just found out about the one where she's just filming his like half hard dick for 40 minutes you could they had uh, so much fun yeah. they really did they had a great time yeah people like got upset about that like people were like come on lady but it's like Doing that in the 60s when no one like knows what art is and they're like, I guess I have to watch this guy's cock for 40 minutes. That takes a lot to piss off the hippies to be too far out for them. You got to respect that. Absolutely. But, you know, like uh, in in light of uh, Aaron Bushnell's protest, you know, I just want to make it clear. I am not um, advocating um, ending one's life as an act of protest, unless, of course, you do work in the Biden administration, State Department, or U.S. government. In that case, please have at it. 